In a world where climate change is increasingly becoming unpredictable, farmers in Rwanda are turning to solar-powered irrigation. This method helps them to farm all year round. Jean Bosco Rutishisha, a retired police officer, is one of the 68 farmers in eastern Rwanda using this green irrigation. He says the technology has transformed his six-hectare Ruhimbi farm, where he grows avocados and mangoes for export. Uh, on the farm here, we can do throughout. Uh, we can we can cultivate throughout the year, and we can have crops throughout the year. Whenever we want to plant, we can because of uh, the availability of water and uh, the availability of uh, energy that is environmental friendly. For example, you have seen uh, the solar system that we have, which helps us to pump water uphill. So we dug that, that pond that you saw up down there, and also have uh, panel, uh, solar panels, which can provide like 4.5 kilowatts of power. Jambo Skorotishisha uses two dump sheets on his farm. They hold 720 cubic meters of water, fully pumped using solar power. Most of the green irrigation equipment used here is imported from China. Jerome Hitayezu, who is the head of irrigation at Rwanda Agriculture Board, says the method is efficient. He adds that Rwanda is working to attract investors to set up local production of solar-powered irrigation systems due to its positive impact on the environment. Most of the time they are imported from China, they are imported from Europe, but most of them are imported from China and India. Yeah, we provide, you are, you are right, we provide 75% of, of subsidy to, 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 to cooperatives, individual farmers, and even a group of farmers. We, sub, we subsidize. Why do you do that? We do that, that just to, to improve the technology in the country. We, we, are, we are at a, at a starting point because we, we intend to, to have uh, 5,000 hectares irrigated in NST2. A group of Chinese investors is currently in Rwanda to explore green irrigation and mechanized farming opportunities. One of them, Hu Xin from Nijang Agricultural Associates, says Rwanda's central location in Africa makes it ideal for regional supply. The agricultural sector has introduced many investment opportunities in Rwanda and through discussions with officials from Ministry of Agriculture, we believe that our agricultural machinery products can be covered by Rwanda to other East African countries, which is a very big market and investment opportunity. Today, over 1,600 hectares of farmland in Rwanda use green irrigation. The government's target is to reach 5,000 hectares by 2029. This eastern region of Rwanda often experiences prolonged droughts, making traditional irrigation systems labor-intensive and inefficient. The introduction of solar-powered systems here has significantly improved farming practices, enhancing water efficiency and crop yields. Eastern Tashabia for CGTN, Ramagena, Eastern Rwanda.